Okay, we're back and we're bad. We are. Um, so, Martin Cousins. Mike Morrison. And this is our fourth and final beanbag chat for the day. We've both been in the same session, which was Jamil Qureshi's one on developing leadership thinking in everyone to increase organisational performance. So, Mike, what do you think? I love the way that Jamil has a lot of energy when he kicks things off. You know where you're focused on, you know what you're going to get. So I think in terms of his style, it's really energetic and it hooks you in. Mm. And, and I certainly felt there was a level, level of energy and, and focus there. Yeah. I, he's trotting out a lot of stuff that we've heard before about yeah. motivation, about engagement, um, about focusing on behaviours. Yeah. He usefully, for me, linked where some things come from from success in sport, mm. such as focusing on the reflection as to where am I. Mm. But he came up with one particular thing that for me was perhaps more useful, and that he, the formula he uses E plus R equals O, which is event plus reaction equals outcome. And that's the way that we tend to work. We tend to focus on the event. Mm. Whereas what he was saying was, really successful people sort of ignore the event, the stuff that's happened before, and, and focus very much more on the reaction, how we react to a situation. So if someone, for instance, in a customer service point of view is angry and shouting at us, do we use that and be angry and shout back, or do we react differently? Mm -hmm. And I think we can take that from leadership, from values, so it doesn't matter what sort of SH1 hit the fan before we come into the meeting, the presentation. Yeah. We deliver what it is that we need to do, and I think that's an that's an important takeaway. Yeah. What about you? I liked the, the this idea of why um, we need we need some purpose. We need to understand why we do the things yeah. we do. There's a great the five ways. Yeah. yeah, there's a quite question. There's a good question at the end about um, change fatigue, and he anyway. You know, I like the fact he said that, you know if you're being chased by a lion, you very quickly learn how to climb a tree, and, and so therefore the why is you know you're being chased by a lion so you, you basically you can learn to climb that tree very quickly and why so, did you find that interesting well because there's the the why isn't explained in change it's like what does this mean for me and why do you think that is because i think that the um i think organizations talk about change in terms of their, the organization's need without thinking about the impact on the individual and what might be good for me in all of this. Why, why should I care about this endless change in this organisation? That's what he's saying. Why don't you think they do that? Why don't they do it? Hmm. Sorry, that's the fourth why. <laughs> Here we go. This is good. I'm getting off this beanbag after, now, after the fourth one. I think it's due for beer soon. Yeah, you're, 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 you're too good at this stuff, Mr Sorry. Morrison. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so you got to the fourth why, but you know what, you know what I'm saying, it's basically, you know, it's all about that, that idea. <laughs> Sorry, of, I'll throw in the three. You know, no, what, you know, what does it mean for me? I'm a, I, you know, it does matter, we're all yeah. humans, and that's what he's trying to say. It's like, it's, it's all about how we feel, and it kind of loops back to Nick Shackton Jones this morning, an effective context. It's like the reactions that we have yeah. really matter, and, and it's all based on, you know, what we've done in the past. And we've got to kind of work with that a lot more, I think. I mean, he, he does a very good job at um, talking about that. I think that, that also, he also said, you know, don't follow people that only learn from yesterday, but also look forward. Mm. And, and I had a discussion on the CIPD LinkedIn group earlier on in the week, and someone said, how do I deal with negative failures? And I pointed out to someone, look, you don't drive by looking through the rearview mirror, you drive through looking through the windscreen. And I think maybe we need to apply that more to our experiences, and that links Nick Shackleton Jones' yeah. stuff along with Jamil's. Um, yeah, yeah. and that we need to look forward, not backwards. But don't ignore what's behind us, because there might be blue lights flagging us down. So we do need to look in the mirror occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. On that note, I think we're going to go to the pub. We are. Are we going to download the green bag from the pub? Um, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks. And we might be back tomorrow. We'll see you I'm here tomorrow. We'll see oh, you tomorrow. Yeah, more Great. tomorrow then. More green okay. bags tomorrow. Bye. Bye.